Over the past year, China's major players, GAC, SEIC, Sherry, Sunwoda, BYD, and even the usually cautious CATL, have all accelerated their solid-state programs. GAC now leads with an active production line making 60 a cells, while SEIC targets even larger 75A units for long-range EVs. Sherry is aiming for a 600 watt-hour per kilogram module, the highest target in the group, and CATL maintains that true large-scale commercialization won't arrive until around 2030. To put that shift in perspective, today's lithium-ion cells sit at roughly 20 to 40 ampere hours, jumping to 60 to 75 ampere hours, paired with near double energy density, heat tolerance above 300 degrees Celsius, and non-flammable solid electrolytes, unlocks what automakers have promised for years, safer packs and real 1,000 kilometer EVs on a single charge. And this global shift matters for one reason. Tesla is not sitting still. The company is now working on its own solid-state program intended for the upcoming Model 2 platform. With competitors preparing mass production between 2026 and 2028, Tesla's compact EV will need a next-generation battery system if it hopes to maintain its lead in affordability, range, and long-term durability. So, we're here to break down that new solid-state battery tech in today's video. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to help Auto Gear Shift reach 17,177 subscribers. Every new sub helps us push out higher quality Tesla analysis, and hitting that milestone today would be absolutely incredible. Where does Tesla stand as solid-state production lines finally go live? For the first time in over a decade of battery innovation, Tesla is facing a genuine shift in the competitive landscape. With Chinese manufacturers activating 60AH to 75AA solid-state pilot lines, the pressure is no longer theoretical. It's industrial. And this is exactly why insiders say Tesla has accelerated its own solid-state program, aiming to deploy the chemistry first on the high-volume Model 2 platform. While GAC and SEIC are proving that large-format solid-state cells can move beyond the 20 to 40 ampere-hour norm, Tesla is taking a different angle. Instead of rushing a prototype to market, the company is focusing on manufacturability, cycle stability, and vehicle-level integration, areas where Tesla has historically pulled ahead once the real scaling begins. According to multiple engineering sources, Tesla's internal target sits in the same 60 to 75 ampere hour window, but with a stronger emphasis on thermal robustness, fast charge tolerance, and low cost electrode processing, similar to the dry coat strategy used on the 4680 line. How is Tesla's solid state battery actually different from other EV cells? Tesla's solid state program represents a major departure from traditional EV batteries and even from the early solid-state prototypes emerging from China. Rather than relying on a simple ceramic electrolyte pouch that performs well only under controlled lab conditions, Tesla is engineering a multi-layer oxide solid electrolyte designed for high-power EV applications and mass production at gigafactory scale on the existing 4680 line. At the heart of Tesla's design is a hybrid anode structure combining a high lithiation silicon scaffold with a thin lithium metal layer that forms during the first charge cycle. This configuration reduces volumetric swelling by up to 60% compared with pure lithium metal anodes and allows the theoretical gravimetric energy density to reach 550 to 620 watt hours per kilogram, a figure nearly double the standard lithium ion cells currently deployed in Tesla's Model 3 and Model Y which typically range between 250 to 300 watt-hours per kilogram. The solid electrolyte itself is a laminated multi-phase stack rather than a single brittle sheet. The top layer is a fast ion conducting oxide, achieving ionic conductivity of 5 to 10 millisiemens per centimeter, enabling high current discharge without overheating. Beneath this lies an elastic polymer interface that absorbs mechanical stress and stabilizes the lithium metal surface during repeated cycling. 
The final layer is a reinforced ceramic barrier, providing both puncture resistance and thermal insulation. Combined, this structure allows each cell to maintain stability under nail penetration tests, short circuits, or localized heating above 300 degrees Celsius, conditions that would cause catastrophic failure in conventional lithium-ion packs. What makes Tesla's approach especially disruptive is its manufacturing first strategy. Instead of developing an entirely new form factor or specialized tooling like Toyota or solid power, Tesla has engineered these solid state layers to integrate directly into the existing 4680 production line. The dry electrode coating process remains compatible with the new chemistry, and the laminated solid electrolyte can be roll pressed in a manner similar to traditional separators. This approach preserves the mechanical and thermal advantages of the 4680 casing while reducing capital expenditure by an estimated 40 to 60 percent compared with building a completely new production facility. Tesla's internal performance targets demonstrate the potential of this technology. The company is aiming for cell level energy densities above 500 watt hours per kilogram, volumetric densities exceeding 1000 watt hours per liter, and real world ranges over 1000 kilometers, 620 miles per charge. Fast charging is also a priority with a 10 to 80% charge in roughly 10 minutes projected under high power DC conditions. Additionally, the design anticipates 1,500 to 1,600 full cycles before dropping 20% of its capacity, meaning the pack could last over 1.6 million kilometers, effectively covering the lifetime of multiple vehicles. Combined with extreme thermal stability and non-flammable electrolytes, Tesla's solid-state packs are designed to deliver unprecedented safety, longevity, and energy performance, forming the foundation for the company's next-generation crash-proof EV battery. What can Tesla's solid-state battery really deliver in the Model 2? While Tesla's solid-state cells have demonstrated impressive performance in lab testing, over 1,000 kilometers of range, 10-minute 10, 10 to 80% fast charging, and 1,500 plus full cycles before 20% capacity loss. The real-world application in the Model 2 will inevitably introduce some differences. Vehicle integration, thermal management constraints, and weight distribution all affect final performance. Experts estimate that the Model 2 will achieve around 900 to 950 kilometers of range per charge, slightly below lab projections, but still nearly double the range of current compact EVs with standard 20 to 40 AH lithium ion packs. Charging performance also adapts in real conditions. While lab cells reach 10 to 80% in roughly 10 minutes under ideal cooling and power delivery, the Model 2's pack will likely achieve 10 to 80% charge in 12 to 13 minutes at compatible high power DC stations, accounting for voltage drops, pack heating, and power electronics limits. This is still far faster than conventional lithium-ion systems and makes long-distance travel practical without extended stops. Durability sees a similar adjustment. Prototype cells endure 1,500 to 1,600 cycles to 80% capacity in controlled conditions. But real-world driving, characterized by variable temperatures, irregular charge patterns, and repeated high-power discharges, suggests the Model 2 solid-state pack will sustain roughly 1,200 to 1,300 cycles before reaching 80% capacity for an average driver. That still corresponds to over 1.2 million kilometers, effectively covering the vehicle's entire operational life. Safety and thermal management remain strong differentiators. Even with minor efficiency losses in the pack system, the laminated multi-phase solid electrolyte is expected to maintain stability above 280 to 300 degrees Celsius, keeping risks of thermal runaway or electrolyte ejection negligible under real-world stress, including fast charging, high-speed driving, and extreme weather. How is production and launch timeline for solid-state cells? Tesla's solid-state battery program is moving from the lab toward industrial-scale deployment in a highly methodical way prioritizing both reliability and manufacturability. 
According to internal sources, the company plans to begin small-batch pilot production in 2026, leveraging modified 4680 lines at its existing gigafactories. These pilot runs will produce limited quantities of 60 to 75 amp-hour cells to validate assembly, integration into modules, and real-world thermal performance. Each batch will undergo rigorous vehicle-level testing in prototype Model 2 units, ensuring that the cells meet Tesla's demanding safety and performance standards before ramping up. Full-scale production is expected to follow between 2027 and 2028, coinciding with the scheduled launch of the mass-market Model 2. By integrating the solid-state layers into existing 4680 manufacturing lines, Tesla avoids the massive capital expenditures associated with building an entirely new production facility, while ensuring consistent quality control across thousands of modules. Industry analysts estimate that Tesla will initially produce tens of thousands of packs per year, scaling to hundreds of thousands annually by 2029, depending on supply chain availability of high-purity lithium, silicon, and oxide electrolytes. The timeline also accounts for vehicle-level rollout milestones. Early Model 2 prototypes equipped with solid-state packs will undergo extensive road testing in multiple climates, including extreme heat and cold, to validate the thermal stability and durability projections made in lab conditions. Real-world range, charging efficiency, and safety metrics from these tests will inform final production specifications. Tesla is reportedly targeting a public reveal and limited customer deliveries in late 2027, with broader market availability in 2028, once production volumes reach a commercially sustainable level. While lab numbers are impressive, real-world deployment will ultimately show how well Tesla can translate this breakthrough into everyday driving. What excites you most about Tesla's solid-state technology? Range, charging speed, or safety? Do you think the Model 2 will finally make long-distance driving effortless for compact EV owners? How soon would you consider switching to a solid-state Tesla if it hits the market? If you enjoyed this deep dive, smash that like button, subscribe to Auto Gear Shift, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the latest updates on Tesla and the future of EV technology. Let's reach 17,177 subscribers together and make sure every Tesla fan stays ahead of the curve.